I made a desktop pet and it packs tons of features that will make you want to build this yourself and it's really easy to assemble and build this. You don't need any soldering or coding experience. You just have to get the hardware parts and it's plug and play. Hey Telly, volume up, volume up, pause, play. Hey Telly, lights on, lights off, lights on, minus, 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 lights off. Lights on. Volume up. Volume up. Volume down. Volume down. Pause. Play. The big question, how do I make this? I usually gather all the parts, which is the ESP32, the OLED, the light, and then a voltage regulator, an IMU, an infrared sensor, and the list goes on. But how do I avoid all this confusion? Well, shout out to DF Robot for sponsoring this video. They create tons of cool maker gear, sensors, robots, and all kinds of tools that help turn creative ideas into real projects. I was provided with the Unihiker K10, which is a compact AI learning board with a built-in screen, a camera, few sensors, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth. It's perfect for implementing unique projects that come into my head, and it's simple to use all the modules in one board. It just makes my life easier. I was definitely satisfied with the packaging and the quality of the materials delivered, especially the packing for the Unihiker. And I've also received the other two parts, which is an expansion board and the LED NeoPixel. The K10 can do ton of things, but here's a gist of them. For example, play a game. It has an accelerometer, an ambient light sensor, a microphone, and a temperature sensor. But what makes the K10 truly AI is interacting with your voice, understanding your speech. It can also do facial recognition and facial detection. So what I had in mind was to make it look alive, act as a desk lamp and a pen stand, and control your media using your voice. So yes, that's a lot of features. To program it, I was using MindPlus. It also supports Arduino IDE, Platform IO, and MicroPython. So MindPlus is a very interactive platform, and if you're someone who's new to coding or new to programming microcontrollers, I'd say MindPlus gives you a, a very good base to start with programming the microcontroller. So as you can see, I'm adding a few blocks, and at the same time, I can see what it looks like. It also has a manual editing option for people who actually want to code it step by step. So we also have extensions like the BLE keyboard which I will be using and also the WS2812 LED kit. And when you add them you'll also get the APIs, different APIs. I started working on the eyes animation and I was pretty happy with the rectangular structure rather than the circular ones because I felt it would suit better for a robot. And the next part was controlling the LED or for the desk lamp. I'm using a WS2812, but to control it, I had a few problems where I was using the ambient light sensor. So basically I blocked it to make it look dark and it would increase the brightness, but that wouldn't be suitable when your environment is dark anyways. So I started using voice commands or speech recognition with commands like plus or minus for increasing or decreasing the brightness. My goal for the design was to keep it as simple as possible. So I used two major pieces, which is the base and the container or the stand for your pens, the screwdrivers and other stuff that you want to keep. And the part behind it had to be open for the charging port and switching it on and off. Here's the charging port of the K10, which had to be covered using the container part to protect it from any dust or 
other stuff. I had to print a few prototypes of this to see how it turned out and as you can see it's all about trial and error. So finally I've come up with the perfect pieces. The assembly is the simplest part of this. I feel like I don't even have to tell you the complete process and you would still be able to do it. So the first part and important part is uploading the code. You can follow these steps and it's really easy to upload the code. So once you're done uploading the code like I have done on my screen, you can disconnect the cable of the K10 and reconnect it back to see the changes in effect. If the animation of the eyes start on the screen, then you're good to go. You're done with 90% of this process and the following steps will guide you on how to finish this yourself and hope you like this.